The purpose of this segment of project-based voucher training is to provide a walkthrough of the PBV referral and application. The PBV referral and application is available by target group. For this training, we will first walk through the referral and application for no target group. Then we will discuss the applicable variations of the application for the homeless, chronically homeless, disabled, VASH, and VASH Streamline target groups. If you're unsure about your client's target group, or if you need to request a blank copy of the appropriate application and accompanying application form checklist, please email your assigned PBV eligibility interviewer. You may refer to our PBV directory and or PBV desk guide for staff's contact information. Before we begin, I want to point out that other than a question that allows the applicant to clarify any information reported, there aren't really any open-ended questions in the application. Questions are mostly yes or no questions or very specific questions about a person's housing history, family composition, income, assets, etc. Therefore, we will not be reviewing the application question by question, but rather page by page to gain an understanding of the necessity of each form. If you have questions or comments on any particular item within the application, please email us and we will be happy to provide clarification. To encourage those completing the applications to thoroughly read the application, sign all forms and answer all questions where applicable, we do recommend referencing our application checklist while completing the applications. The first page of our referral and application is our applicant referral cover letter. At the top, please date with today's date and place attention to your assigned PBV eligibility interviewer. Please indicate whether or not the applicant is a part of the PBV program or the HUD-VASH PBV program. The PBV program here will include the Permanent Supportive Housing Program, the Rental Assistance Demonstration Program, as well as our general PBV program. Please indicate if this is an initial lease up for a brand new building where the unit has never been occupied, or if you are filling a vacancy where a previous tenant has moved out. Please identify whether or not the client is homeless or chronically homeless, or if they are not homeless at all. You'll want to list the client's name, your property's name, the building address, the unit number, and the correct bedroom size. Because we are not currently conducting interviews in person, you may leave the appointment information blank. If you are filling a vacancy, please provide the following information. Please list the previous tenant, their client number if known, the move out date, and the reason that they vacated the unit. Please include your contact information at the bottom as this is the information the interviewer will refer to throughout the process. The second page of the referral and application is the request for criminal history. Please leave the top section blank as this is for internal PBV staff to complete. You'll want to ensure that each adult member of every household signs and dates their own form and that they indicate their relationship to the household. The clearance review box in the middle is for internal staff to complete. Please leave this blank as well. The adult member should complete their personal information here on the form. The very last field is also for internal staff to complete and to conduct the criminal background check clearance. Please leave this field blank. Every adult member will need to complete 
the criminal background check applicant questionnaire. Each adult will need to complete the personal information at the top, answer the series of yes and no questions by circling the option, and then signing and dating the bottom. The fourth page is the beginning of our core application that collects details on family household composition, previous housing history, income, assets, etc. Please carefully read the instructions on each page of the application before completing any sections. Do not remove any pages from the packet. Answer the questions completely. For yes responses, provide all required information and documents. Please answer the questions accurately. The information provided will be verified. The information completed is certified under penalty of perjury. Please report all family income from all sources. Each member receiving income must provide the documents to verify that income. Please report all changes in family income and composition in writing immediately as they occur. Please be sure to look out for required signatures throughout the application. All adults 18 years of age and above must sign Part 15. Part 1 of the core application collects personal information as well as details on current housing status, subsidized housing history, homelessness status, disability, and primary language. It continues to collect information on sex offender status as well as household composition. Sections 3 and 4 request details on employment and self-employment. Each section will identify the supporting documents to provide for each applicable item. Part 5 will list other types of income as well as the required documentation needed for verification. Part six and seven will list information and details on full-time students and child support, and will list any required documentation needed for verification. Applicants should list any regular contributions and gifts in part eight, any adult household members claiming zero income in part nine, and any child care in part 10. Any financial accounts or assets should be listed in Part 11. Medical expenses should be identified in Part 12. Any additional general information should be entered here in Part 13. All adult household members over the age of 18 should sign and date on this page. This authorization for release of information authorizes any agency, office, group, organization, business firm, financial institution, public or private school, or governmental entity to release to the housing authority any information or materials which the housing authority deems necessary to complete and verify an application for participation to the PBB program. All adult members should sign and date this page and all minors should be listed. In signing this consent form, 
you are authorizing HUD and the above named housing authority to request income information from the sources listed on the form. HUD and the Housing Authority need this information to verify your household's income in order to ensure that you are eligible for assisted housing benefits and that these benefits are set at the correct level. HUD and the Housing Authority may participate in computer matching programs with these sources in order to verify your eligibility and level of benefits. Every adult household member over the age of 18 will need to sign and date this form. Applicants have the right by law to include as part of their application for housing the name, address, telephone number, and other relevant information of a family member, friend, social, health advocacy, or other organization. This contact information is for the purpose of identifying a person or organization that may be able to help in resolving any issues that may arise during tenancy or to assist in providing any special care or services that are required. An applicant may also check this box if they choose not to provide that contact information. Every head of household must sign and date this form. This notice provides applicants with information on what information HACLA is required to provide to HUD, who will have access to this information, how this information is used, and the applicant's rights. The Housing Authority is required to provide this notice to all applicants and program participants, and the applicants are required to acknowledge receipt of this notice by signing page 2 of this form. Here is the signature section on page two. All adults in the household must sign this form. Next, we have the Declaration of Citizenship or Eligible Immigration Status. All adults in the household must complete this form, print their name, sign and date at the bottom. The same form is available here in Spanish. Next, we have our consent form to verify immigration status with the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, USCIS. All adult household members must complete this form. Any minors should be listed as well. The same form is available here in Spanish. The last page of the core application is the Housing Authority's authorization to release information. This form will allow the Housing Authority to release information to the folks listed on the form. The head of household will need to sign and date. This page of the application includes a list of the forms included in the supplemental application, and it also includes a list of the required supporting documents needed to verify proof of income and assets. If an applicant chooses to waive their use of HACLA provided oral interpretation, they may print their name on this form. HACLA is sensitive to the needs of individuals with limited English proficiency and is committed to ensure equal access to its services. If an applicant with limited English skills would like to communicate either orally or in writing in a language other than English, please indicate that language preference on the back side of this notice. The head of household should complete, print their name, sign, and date. HACLA strives to provide equal opportunity for all individuals to participate in and benefit from its programs in compliance with state and federal fair housing laws. 
An individual with a physical or mental disability may request a change, exception, or adjustment to a HECLA rule, policy, service, or modification to a dwelling unit or common space, also known as a reasonable accommodation to obtain equal access to the HECLA programs. This form is to be completed and returned to HACLA as part of the application and or annual review process, but can be requested and submitted at any time as needed. Please be sure that the head of household signs and dates the bottom of the form. Housing built before 1978 may contain lead-based paint. Lead from paint, paint chips, and dust can pose health hazards if not managed properly. Lead exposure is especially harmful to young children and pregnant women. Before renting pre-1978 housing, landlords must disclose the presence of lead-based paint and or lead-based paint hazards in the dwelling. Tenants must also receive a federally approved pamphlet on lead poisoning prevention. Landlords should be sure to complete the disclosure below. Tenants should initial in section C and D, the landlord should initial in section E, and the landlord and tenant should sign and date at the bottom of the form. HECLA is authorized by HUD to collect the information required on this form by Section 8 of the U.S. Housing Act of 1937. Collection of family members' name and address is mandatory. The information is used to certify the members of the family participating in the Section 8 project-based voucher program and the family's awareness of their family responsibilities under the program. Page 2 includes additional information on the housing assistance payment and also the family's right to move. Page three continues with additional details on family obligations. On page four, we have additional details on termination of assistance, illegal discrimination, and also HUD requirements. The top section of page five should be completed by the family's representative the bottom section for the public housing agency should be completed by the properties assigned eligibility interviewer. Please ensure that all adult household members read this flyer on things that they should know. Every adult household member needs to sign and date the bottom of this form. This flyer informs applicants that HACLA uses HUD's Enterprise Income Verification System to verify social security numbers for all participants, social security and SSI income, earnings from jobs and unemployment insurance for all Housing Authority public housing residents and Section 8 program participants. The same form is also available in Spanish. The certified statement is a series of yes or no questions regarding the family's income and assets. Any information reported throughout the application should be supported by this form. Each adult household member must complete this form. The yes, no certified statement is available here in Spanish. This form authorizes the Department of Social Services to share information with the Housing Authority. All adults must sign this form. The DPSS form is available here in Spanish. Here, we'll have the application variations by target group. For homelessness, 
will have the certification of homelessness and the statement of supportive services form. For chronically homelessness applicants, we'll have the certification of chronic homelessness, the statement of supportive services form, and the certification of disability. For our disabled applicants, we'll have the certification of disability and the statement of supportive services form. For VASH, we'll have the VASH RE73 Colonel Background Check Form, the VA Referral Letter, the HUD VASH PBV Statement of Family and Veteran Responsibility Form, as well as the RE6A. Here is the two page Certification of Homelessness. Please note that there are other acceptable verifications of homelessness, such as other certification forms and detailed letters from qualifying agencies. If you're unsure, please submit your documentation to the eligibility interviewer for review. For chronic homelessness, please note that we require proof of disability as well as a list of episodes of homelessness equaling one continuous year or four episodes of homelessness within the past three years, totaling one year. As proof of disability, applicants may provide the HACLA Special Program Certification of Disability or they may provide an award letter from the Social Security Administration with a disability code or proof of SSI. Applicants of the Permanent Supportive Housing Program and also the agencies providing the services should complete this form. Please note that for VASH, HACLA conducts sex offender screening only. We will not be conducting a full criminal background check. HACLA relies on the VA referral letter to determine whether or not a veteran is homeless or chronically homeless. Please have the VA representative and veteran sign the HUD VASH Project Based Voucher Statement of Veteran and Family Responsibility form. Please note that if any clients hold an active tenant based VASH voucher, that they may complete a VASH streamlined application. They will not need to complete a full application. The VASH Streamline application consists of a referral cover letter, the VA referral letter, a lead-based paint form, the HUD VASH PBV Statement of Veteran or Family Responsibility form, and also a certified statement to relinquish their active tenant-based VASH voucher, which is pictured below. On this page, you'll find a list of supporting income and asset documents for any application. On this page, you'll find a list of acceptable substitutions for a social security card as well as valid photo identification for adults.